Moving to Modi's unprecedented uh, invite to all the SARC leaders, do you think that this is a sign that India will take up a leadership role within SARC uh, and that foreign policy will feature more heavily under Modi? I think it was quite extraordinary that uh, pretty much the first official act uh, from uh, Prime Minister-elect was to invite uh, SARC leaders to his uh, swearing-in ceremony. Uh, there's no question that India is the leader in SARC. It is much the biggest country and the biggest uh, economy. But it is a signal that it will be active in SARC forums and active with uh, SARC countries. Um, we should also note that uh, they uh, themselves, the leaders from SARC, were the first to congratulate uh, Modi and uh, have received his uh, invitation very uh, positively and most of them have already confirmed that they will join the uh, swearing-in ceremonies uh, except uh, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh uh, for whom there is a scheduling conflict so the uh, Speaker of the uh, Parliament will be here. Uh, Unsurprisingly, Pakistan is still trying to make up its mind. We hope that uh, the old Prime Minister, who is himself relatively new, will also join uh, because it is an opportunity not only to talk to the Indian Prime Minister, but to talk to his other colleagues. Uh, one interesting feature has been the use of Twitter by Narendra Modi as well as other world leaders to congratulate and uh, comment and speak to each other. How do you feel as a former diplomat uh, that Twitter has been used uh, within dip diplomacy and its effect on public diplomacy? Well, I think the first thing to note is that uh, this campaign of which Modi was the spirit and the face uh, was the had such participation in social media. So it's almost as if it's a continuation. The world is responding to Prime Minister-elect Modi as he reached out to the Indian uh, population and to the Indian uh, voter. Uh, I think also uh, it has lent a almost a kind of intimacy to his interaction with the leaders who sent in Twitter congratulatory messages and he responded uh, on Twitter. So uh, this, it's a different kind of interaction and uh, I think it's, um, it's consonant with uh, how the world itself is changing.